I have got to come over here and clean this up. I basically just covered this up with the, the uh, metal shingling that I got from my neighbor. And just came in here and just threw a thing in there. Oh, I didn't even realize my tent was in there. I bet that thing's ruined now. I need to get a new one of those anyway. I'm going to use the Bighorn 3 again this winter for winter camping. Um, the Shackleton's a good tent from Ellis Canvas Tents, but it didn't have enough headroom in there for me. So I should have gotten a bigger one because there was only the headroom right around the center pole and it just made it kind of inconvenient to work in there because the stove was right in the center. So I need the stove over on the side to maximize all of my uh, space inside the winter tent. But gonna come through here, clean this up this week. I've got my stain here, which I need to use to finish up the little cowboy cabin here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually take off the front of this. And instead of having the wood on here, I'm just gonna cut it off right here keep the back portion and then build a stone uh, U that comes out like this, kind of comes out this way over here and same over on that side to make this wider. And that way I can put the ATV in there and then also have like a tool area and then have a little bit of a, a guest space over here. You know, it's like a one room little studio thing, but turn that into more of like the ATV in the workshop because I just, I didn't make that wide enough. And when I put the ATV in there, it just is not enough space. So obviously need to clean this one out too. But get that squared away after these rains pass. It's supposed to be raining now for like, I think four or five days straight. But then it looks like this weekend, we're gonna have like a you know, nice nice weather all weekend. Nice thing about these rains like this is once they set in, even when you get a sunny day, they're just not bad. And so it's not gonna be temperatures like what we've been dealing with. So we better go back inside. It looks like the storm here is uh, starting to really show up. So let's head back to the camper. And I think this afternoon what we're going to do is we're just going to hang with Sierra and just relax. I'm still not feeling all that great today. So I'm just kind of take it easy and get to feeling 100%. And then we'll be good to go. It won't be too long before I can dial in the hot tub and have that going during monsoon season. So a couple more rains to really get the humidity up and get all the biomass on the ground you know, covered up and, and, and uh, a bunch of, filled with a bunch of water and then I'll be good to go. So it's so, it's so nice to have like the hot tub going and then you watch the storms come rolling in from like this area down over here. It's just incredible. So looking forward to that.
got a solution for the roof and it's these u-channel metal shingles i'm not going to use these back here i'm going to do something else back here so i'm going to take these off well i'll probably wait until um i clean this out but i'm going to take these off and use them for the front and i didn't think i had enough but then i forgot that i had all these stored on the side over here and so i've got an additional let's see <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven more. And then there's a total of, let's see, one. Oh yeah, there's four up there. So that, that's a total of 11 that I can use. And those are plenty big. And I think, so I think that'll look cool over the front of it. And also too, those things are super lightweight compared to the shingles. So it'll make the front of it much, uh, much much less weight which would be nice and i think it'll look cool too and um so we're going to use those for the front and what i want to do first though is clean out that uh little area back there get it all dialed in make sure there's nothing back in there that you know needs to be covered if it does i'll bring it back up here and then um we'll put these up and i think that'll be nice because then i won't have to do shingles on the rest of it i just need to figure out what i need to do to tie it into the drip edge the metal sheeting i've never used it before so that's what we're going to do up here and then that way i can also do some cross sections back underneath here and without putting the the uh, shingles up there and just putting those two by fours across and tying them in there just to make it to where that that won't be very wavy then we'll be in good shape and you know the two by fours plus the metal will be well way less than what the shingles would have so it's pretty good stuff so i just forgot i had that stuff back there i didn't think i had as much of it i thought i only had four and i thought well That'll cover like half of this, but I need a total of eight and I have 11, so we're good to go. So I can use another one for, you know, maybe if I want to make like an, a cover for my hot tub or if I want to do cover anything over, you know, back in that section over there, I'll have uh, three left over, which is good. So we'll see, but glad to, glad, glad to be using that though. I think that's cool. That's going to look cool on this because with the metal up here, I'll, I'll bring some up so that we can take a look at it and I'll put a little picture of what it'll look like but the metal on the top there would just look stellar i think that'll be, look pretty cool this these u-channel metal sheets are going to work great because the water that i'll be able to catch off here is going to be much cleaner than the stuff off the asphalt because i'm kind of worried about leaching off the tar and things like that so the water that i'll be catching off the front of this is going to be is, or, or, or from these will be much cleaner obviously i'll get them all cleaned up uh, but this was from my neighbor he had a bunch of these sitting on his place when he sold it and told me he's like hey you want to want to have these I'm, he's like I, don't, I need to get rid of them i said sure so i, I grabbed them and the way it's going to work is so these it's eight feet from the back to the front and these are five feet by three and so i have to cut a few of them up just to make them you know the eight foot and then i'm going to hang it an edge off each side i talked to my brother who's a builder he's like yeah just hang an edge off each, each side and get those type of like uh, sharp metal screws for a roofing that have the little uh it's like a washer on the end and then it has a little gasket little rubber gasket now when you when you drill it in you don't drill it in real tight you just drill it into where it's you know snug and then that creates a watertight seal with that rubber gasket on there so i called the shop in town the the general store that has all the hardware and i was like hey do you have any of those they're like we literally just sold our last three boxes to this one dude we're not getting them for like another couple of days so i don't feel like driving all the way to like flagstaff or prescott you know for supplies which that's an hour each way for regardless of which one i go to so I think we'll just kind of hang tight here and uh, ride out the storms for the next couple days and then maybe go over the weekend when we need to resupply for our groceries and all that stuff. So, you spend the rest of the day with my little girl, Sierra, inside. She's in here chilling right now in the air conditioning and uh, it's nice and cool in here. So, we're just going to wait for the storms to show up and in the meantime, we'll be in here relaxing. All right, everybody, I'm going to send you out with a band called Wanna Beat. Their track is called Always Relaxing really like this band they're pretty good reggae and i've used them a bunch in videos in the past i use a service called epidemic sound and it's royalty free music and surprisingly some of the music on there is awesome i listen to it when i'm hanging around my place so we'll get this roof done once the rain's passed hope you all have a great day and we'll see you on the next video thanks a lot